Rashid, welcome to the Network City Conference. Thank you for having me, Balaji. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and about Expo City in Dubai? My name is Rashid Mohammed. I'm the CTO for Expo City Dubai. Expo City is the site that hosted the Expo 2020. We hosted 192 nations, over 24 million visits. The site was built to purpose, so we retained around 80% of our infrastructure, and then we converted to Expo City Dubai. And Expo City Dubai is an ambitious city. We have a lot to do, but also we are very ambitious in terms of our strategy to move forward, to change cities and to change the way cities live. The thing about Expo City is it's a special economic zone within the UAE. And so you have some ability to change laws, set your own laws. Can you explain how that works? We are the newest created free zone in Dubai. So what we want to do is we want to relook what would a technology in a city or a startup that serves a city look like in terms of an ecosystem? What would they need? Because you can replicate it in the city here at Expo. Now today we have 163 buildings. So it's a huge cluster. And is there a way we can bring startups and innovative companies to come and test? So we are more like an open platform for companies to come and test. Okay, got it. Actually, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was there is the physical element of the city, but there is a logical element that is when it comes to the building and the stack of the building and the operation of the city, my opinion, it's outdated. It's outdated. Um, So there's a lot we could potentially do. We could build a super app for the... Expo City potentially. How about an operating system, Balaji? Imagine that you are a very pure software startup. You have this very interesting idea about facial recognition, power recognition, whatever that case is that is connected to an ERP. You cannot deploy because you don't own the hardware. What if the hardware was like an open source which supports all protocol and then all of these mini startups or startups that want to innovate into a city can just deploy into this OS. This is like the simplest example. You can take it all the way through property management to facility management. What is happening today, these stack are built for those people who sit in the office, but not for those people who actually run the city on ground. I think the most expensive piece later on in in the coming years is going to be the physical person moving from point A to point B, whether to perform a task or to move an equipment. But the underlining infrastructure is in terms of technology. It needs an OS that is open, that is not locked, that has all of the information. There are bits and pieces in different form, but this granular level revamp has never been done. And we aspire really to change that. So we aspire into a human-centric, intuitive service. What is lifestyle 2.0 in a city looks like, or 3.0 in a city looks like? How will that change? Is it still an app? Or is it, there's no app as well? It's just intuitive. I'll put some thought into that. I think there's definitely something in terms of the city OS and maybe network schoolers can come to Expo City and help build it. We'd love that. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much, Rashid.